Eugene Begay, Voice of the Street. This is um, April 2nd, and we're at Lowe's Fishes and Computers in Salinas. All right, so. Can I do a quick interview? Uh, What's your sure. name? My name is Christian. <laughs> and what are you doing here in Salinas? Uh, we picked up our three locations off the peninsula and we consolidated them into this huge space that we've been looking for for two years that we can finally afford. And now we're in the heart of the people who I think, who we think, who need our services the most. Uh, and we're more accessible to all areas of the county, most especially South County. What's your service? Oh, good what? question. <laughs> you want me to answer that? Or you want to... No, I, I, I don't know. I think I got it. Go ahead, Christian. Okay, so our service, uh, we provide computers to low-income families, nonprofits, and schools, and people with disabilities. We provide one-on-one -on -one technical support for those individuals. So we sit down with people and we show them how to fix their own computer. Um, but we also offer refurbishing classes. Uh, we give an opportunity for our volunteers to uh, learn how to refurbish computers and get excited about information technology. And in the future, we're going to be uh, we're going to be inviting all the schools in the local area, the high schools and the grade schools, to come here come on. and be mentored after school and be mentored by the local computer science college students around here mm -hmm. to work directly with the families who will be coming into this area. And this whole area over there is our one-on-one -on -one tech area in the middle of that room. Okay. He keeps talking. We put the video over. <laughs> All right, now you get over here because what I was trying to tease you about was we want you, you had a beautiful wall behind him. Oh. So we had a talking head instead of all this the gear. The talking Johnson head. Store. We uh, want the gear. Make sure the gear is in the picture. That you provide a good, usable, low cost uh, computer to anyone. Oh looks, yeah. Uh, oh, from an underprivileged. You can cut that in, right? You can splice that in. Yeah. And, and we also provide at a low cost refurbished computers that completely come with the warranty, Windows 7 Professional, Microsoft Office. Many uh, other uh, and we're, for Microsoft uh, to choose from? Uh, no, just that. We're only allowed to get Windows 7 Professional <laughs> and uh, Microsoft Office. Also, I just want to say that we are also going to be selling used computer, we're going to also be selling used computer parts here. We're going to be the one that we want to be known for to be the only one selling that sort of stuff here. At a very, very low rate that's affordable for people. So people get in printers or they say... Printers, like monitors, memory, video cards, Ethernet cards, wireless drivers, wireless routers, you name it, we'll have it. Like all these parts behind us. Yeah. Cut. Now, what you do cool. is you get the whole interview and then you shoot the B-roll separately, not while he's talking, so you get the good sound and he's not off screen. Oh. He's teaching me how See, to I'm do... His, uh, I'm his coach on that. I can so, tell. Hey, listen, I got, you know where I'm working? I've got bad USB connections. We just broke them. Because, remember that weird thing? We had those funny boxes that were instead of the wireless USBs. So we broke some of our USBs. The USB on, ports on the computer? On the computer. And um, when he, when now Gene's scaring me that it might not be fixable, that if it's, all, if it's hardwired. Is it, is it no, I told him it's, it's a desktop. It's hard to fix because you go, it's gone through multi-layer boards. Oh, yeah. Well, forget about it. You just get yourself an external card, USB card. And pop it in the, the Pop side. it in one of the cards and you'll have three, four, five USB cards. So you'll be good to go. And you don't hmm. have to use those broken ones. Or just, yeah. Or get yourself a USB hub. Yeah, for the five one, yeah. that one, and there yeah. we go. That's the way you it just goes. plug it in the one that works, and you've got five, six, seven more. <laughs> and yeah. we have to worry about people taking stuff, too. Uh, oh, again, yeah. But again... Then an internal card is what you're going to want. But people aren't going to steal the keyboard, or the... Well, they're going to need the keyboard and the, and the monitor, I, I hope, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. The keyboard well, and the mouse would be one where the we lock, $5 yeah. hub is selling that problem. Yeah, we lock the stuff up. If it's in a computer cluster, a computer lab that's open to the public and not monitored, we lock it up. We lock the monitor to the computer. But the monitor and the mouse, it's like, well, if you steal it, then... It's not fine, but it's easily replaceable. It's not expensive. Yeah, five bucks each. Keyboard. So welcome, guys. Did you walk here? Did you drive here? Oh, you drove here? You drove. Oh, right on. Horse of the street field trip. So this is it. Welcome. So it's pretty cool. This is what my room was looking like. I just started throwing crap away. Oh, yeah, you did? Yeah, I had uh, six towers, like monitors. I mean, I just like... No, I just, hey, like, I, did I teach you? Did you come in? No, I, 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 I came I, in I, one time. 
No, I, I, I took the uh, 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 ATHOS certification. Oh, yeah, you did. That's right. Yeah. That you were telling me about that. I, I, just, I got a copy of it. Sorry, guys. Yeah. No, I, got, I, just, I, got too much, I just had too much stuff. I, was like, I got boxes like that of RAM just sitting in my drawer. I'm like, oh, I got to get rid of it. Oh, you got rid of it? <laughs> no, I still got it. I got this laptop RAM. I got desktop RAM. I just got, a, oh, I got graphics if cards. Throw it away, we take, we'd love to have it. We yeah. just take one yeah. gigs or more. One gig sticks or more. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else, you can get some decent money for that. It's like 16 or 20, 16 to 20 bucks a pound. Just yeah. memory. Yeah, I just, I got too much. I mean, I'm just getting started. Yeah, five, 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 five. Well, if you give it to us, then we can bump up our memory in our computer. Oh, so I'm having fun. trouble finding a five and a half and a quarter inch Eric? floppy discs <laughs> for, my, for my memory. Five and a quarter, the little floppy disks that you could get. Yeah. I remember yeah. those yeah. for the Apple IIe. Yeah. yeah, when I grew up. Yeah. I think we have one of those. In a, in a, in, we have like a box of relics. Uh, no, I think it's, it's in there. You, you should open a museum display. Right. That, that, that yeah, so stuff on. Oh yeah. Yeah, but people don't appreciate that no, stuff anymore. Right. I got a box of three and a half like inch. Like window window. Three and a half inch yeah. discettes. Yeah, we have those. You know, because every time I say we don't need these and I throw them away, we'll need one the next day. So yeah. we have. Where somebody yeah. walks. Yeah. Back, you know, you remember those little cute? There was like there was a cute memory cute thing with the. I still got some of those. Sure. And yeah, it was like this back here before, before, um, you, know, before you had USB memory cards. You'd, oh, you'd, get, you'd have these um, funny little oh, transition uh, storage things. I remember that there were the zip drives before the zip, zip drive. It was a zip drive. Yeah. Was, was it 500 yeah. megs? 100 megs. That was a lot. Yeah, compared to the three. Deal. Compared to the how many megs were the. The floppies, sweet though. Oh, uh, 1.44. 1. That's what it is. Yeah. I got a SCSI drive. <laughs> you have a SCSI drive? That would be nice. So we, we, should, definitely, we, should, we should write up a grant for the museum on trip to pay tax to set it up and then oh, do other good stuff. Get, just get another, another window pane, little box, box it in and set the, show the evolution of media though, from the five and a half all the way up to the little micro. Whoa, you have a good idea actually. Oral You're talking about like tours. creating a, uh huh. Well that would take some of our surface area away. No, just one window, one, one, one pane. Well, if you built something out six to eight inches yeah, just, I mean, and made it all the way down, then you could have a whole display in the front yeah. and people wouldn't be able to really see yeah, like, it. What the heck? You know, control the, do it from the five and a half all the way down to the little micro SDs now. I mean, oh yeah, 128 control, gigs in yeah. those now. Control the whole, I don't know where to put 100, I'll put like two gigs. 128 you know? gigs. They have no. 128 gig micro yeah, yeah. SD now. Yeah, I know. Oh, all right. Yeah. yeah. That, cool. yeah. Now, that'd be good to show people like... And a micro? Yeah, micro. Yeah, you're, this you're, big. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna pay, get it for twenty bucks on the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ali, you alright? Yeah, just I'm waiting to dump us. Boy, this brings back memories, I'm saying. Well, I had so much fun doing this. We gotta go back. We got, you know, the good things. This, this, this is one of the things we're talking about getting restarted. You know. These cool things. Look at this. Do you recognize these things? It's a switcher, yeah? Yeah. It's from always from multiple monitors, man. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Pretty fun. Let's walk down the memory lane. Hey Christian. I have that was like right but this I got what I got bags of this stuff in my house. Just I mean, this is the least of our ports. Everything is organized in there. I'm gonna work on a dot dot scrapping. Wait, what? What are you gonna do with the adapters? Oh they're all they're all basket, basket, many adapters. All oh, in the baskets, you're gonna take them out. Sort of parts of organization. You know what though? I want you to think of how we can sell those adapters and take two or three of each, three or four of each. Maybe I don't know. And put them out here. Who samples? Ask us. Right, and then we go back there and find one for them. Some ones. I like that. Yeah. Pull out one of each voltage. When you need anything, come through. Yeah. yeah. They say, I agree with that. Sample adapters, 20 bucks. Make it 19 volts, 18.5 volts. Yeah. So I'm going to take some volts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Put them up there. And then I'm thinking you can help, Dick can help you organize and organize the laptop area. Because that's your area. Can I ask you two a favor? Can you see all those racks there? Yeah. All those metal racks? 
with these metal racks. And then also, put something behind those metal racks so it doesn't gouge. Yeah. Did you tell Caitlin? They painted everything, they replaced the lights. These lights have to be replaced. We'll, get, we'll do that after this place is organized. Why didn't you let me know that you were looking for volunteers to paint this place? We put it on Facebook, we asked the missionaries, they came through. We asked our other volunteers, they came through. I don't, I don't use, I got a Facebook account, I don't use it. Right on. Service early, man. Any volunteers? Service early, Yeah, I know, we go, we're gonna, we'll be more organized to accept it now. Because we're going to start teaching people digital literacy. We're going to start teaching kids how to refurbish or just work on computers. Why are you that one? I asked him to. Okay. Just to kind of move like with like, brother. You still have a few people from, from the past. Uh, yeah, we got Thomas. He's still with us. Yep. We still got Allie. Didn't he quit? Didn't he leave to go to school? No, he quit to like get a job and he feed his family. Yeah. And then, uh, that's yeah, all, that's always something. good. Yeah, now actually that guy, he's, he's actually making 50 bucks an hour some, sometimes he gets hired. Yeah, so... Thomas? No, this guy, Allie. Are you shooting or what are you aiming at? It's fantastic. He's just listening. He's just Look holding how beautiful it. this building is. Oh, that's some really nice... What did they give like, What kind great? of Art Deco at one stage or something? I don't know, man, but that's, that's, a, that's great architecture. And that's why we emphasize it with the green. Yeah. We call yeah. it the Enterprise Wall. It's, yeah, I mean, it looks like the, 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 the Enterprise is coming up at the bottom of the It street. does, right? Enterprise. <laughs> Didn't yeah, Thomas yeah. leave for a while to uh, go back to school for a short while? I don't know. No. I don't know. I don't think so. I, you know what? There are I'm talking years ago. I'm talking when... Yeah, no, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. When I was volunteering. Yeah, Thomas took a break. Allie took a break. Yeah. And we're happy to have both of them back now. Very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Because they each have their own skill set that, hell, they're I wouldn't be able good. to... Yeah. They are great. No, they are, they are one of the best, actually. And I'm not just saying that because they're right here and because they help us, but they really are one of the best in the trade. Allie is amazing on laptops. He's probably one of the best laptop Text on the peninsula that I know of, and uh, and Thomas is one of the best high level enterprise server virtual machine networking guy that I know of. Yeah, he's pretty brilliant, and we're lucky to have him in our camp. Why does he all the, have all the bezels to the laptop screens up there? Ask him. Go ask Alec. I find that interesting, intriguing. Yeah, that's Hey, buddy. Why are you saving the bezels for the screens? Save what? The bezels, the front bezels oh, for the screens. Because sometimes we need, if, if we receive any donation income with the bad bezel, we're going to replace it. Are some of them universal? Oh, no, no, universal for... It's got to be a specific, so you can have a whole room of just bezels. No, that will not take too much room. Only those we have. We don't have too much sometimes. Only the ones you get frequently in, is that it? No, frankly, no, just... This is income for, like, four years. <laughs> So I'm keeping this. Sometimes we need one, sometimes not. So. But we, we have it. We will not throw it outside. 
this is what. Yeah, because you're the laptop guy. Yeah, the box, sometimes hinges, screen, DVD. We need some of that. I've seen you work on what, seven, eight laptops at a time um, in production, right in a row? Yeah, yeah. Ten, 10 laptops ten, yeah. a day. Yeah, I work on one. I have my old pictures yeah. since I worked in here yeah. since four years ago. Yeah. Four tables, and I like ten, ten laptops. This is what I'm interested in. <laughs> I missed it. Yeah, you don't. You, you have to keep going with the update going for me. I was going to start one in um, over in Chinatown, mm -hmm. in the storage unit, but. I got so much of my other junk in there along with it that it's hard to move. So I gotta clean it out. And we set up everything. But I'd rather not do it by myself. It's a lot more work. I'd rather do it in a place like this. So you're gonna come back in here? Yeah, I'm gonna volunteer. That's a huge space in this city. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. So you have record, 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 video for me, recorded for me now? Yeah, I got you. I got some of you. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> hey. So what's your name? My name is Ali. Ali. What's your full name? Uh, my name is Ali Ibrahim. And uh, what do you do here? I'm a furnishing lab those make it ready to go to people for a long time. People. And how long you been doing it? Uh, since long time, since 14 years ago. 14 years. But in here, four years. Four since years. Four years ago. Yeah. When you say you're in here, you mean down on Roberts Avenue? Yes, Seaside. Yeah. In seaside. Yep. I, we started from small office like this. Then, yeah. Have you done anything here, or are you still? Getting settled? No, just uh, we are organizing now. Just organizing? We, yeah, we didn't start yet. So. We hope everything going to be good. So. I so, have a great feeling today. <laughs> so we may edit this and put it on uh, YouTube. Okay, good. And we may put it in our paper too, Voices of the Street. That's good, great. <laughs> We're going to sell community. So I hope you guys sell a lot of computers, and I hope you get a lot of donations in. Yeah, we have some. Yeah. And repairing for a long time too. I'm specialized with laptops. Yeah, laptops specialized for repairing for furnishing. Mm. <laughs> so what do you think about the 17.3 inch laptops? Um, Are they becoming dinosaurs? That's a great laptop, like DV9, 17 inches, that's a great, I like. Toshiba sometimes comes with 17, like Panorama, that's good. When you go to Best Buys, they only have two or three 17 inch. They don't have, mostly what they sell is the 15 inch or the tablets. Uh, depends They're what getting you want to do. If you would like to watch movie like HD, yeah, absolutely. Or graphic design, absolutely. 17 is good. Yeah. For old people, 17 is good. But a lot of people are getting away from them. They don't want the big ones because, you know, like the stu school student, he only wants a 15 inch or something. Yeah, small. this is, I would say, uh, 15 and less. That's more portable for students. Yeah. For 17 almost set at home, so watching movie. Yeah. Specifically. I bought a uh, 32 inch TV mm -hmm. that I can use as a TV monitor. Yeah, absolutely. It's got HDMI and it's got USB. Mm -hmm. Paid $99 for it. It's gonna be great for 32 movie. inches. Yeah, yeah, that's good. 99 bucks. Good. I got it on uh, Walmart. Black Friday special. That's good. I like Walmart. Always has a cheap price. Now I got two 50 inch TVs. Mm -hmm. 50 inch in the war room in my uh, storage oh, that's unit. going to be seen. In <laughs> I use one of them right now to watch TV and play movies. It's big.
serving the net too. You can with us and serve the net. It's yeah. Be big. Yeah. All right. Great. Okay. Well, thank you for the interview. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, I'll talk to you later. See ya. And this has been Eugene Begay, Voice of the Street. <laughs>